We've got a very, very busy show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have no time to be uh, committing any acts of tomfoolery of, or idiocy. I just hope that Jerry from Room Service doesn't call right now. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I don't have time to talk to him, so, Jeff, you talk to him. Okay. Uh, hello? Uh, yeah, hi, Jeff. This is uh, Jerry from Room Service. Oh, hey, Jeff. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back. No, oh, we'll be right back yeah. to the show. It's on stay up. It's been a long, long day. And you got the sandman at the door. But hang on, leave the TV on. And let's do it anyway. It's okay. You can always sleep through work tomorrow. Okay. Hey, hey. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive, making it easy to bundle your home and car insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. I'm now going to try my absolute best to be good at this job. <laughs> hey, that's a nice tie. Thanks very much. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. This tie, this is my Friday before Thanksgiving week tie. Yeah, yeah. This is the tie I wear to prove that we're live. Because, ask yourself this, if that we weren't live, then how could I have this tie on? Because... <laughs> You suck, man. Sucks, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just like to do that if I can't think of anything yeah. else to do. I just attack them. You suck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> this is me. Uh, yeah. Jeff, join me in dancing, why don't you? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Why I think I'm excited about Thanksgiving coming up. It's the holiday we used to love in Scotland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd gather around and go, wow, whew, I'm glad those pilgrims left. <laughs> Man, these people were no fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, the new Hunger uh, Games movie is out today. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to see it later. I, underneath this suit, I'm dressed like Katniss. <laughs> That's Katniss with a K, not Katniss with a C. Katniss with a C, of course, is a very, very serious medical condition. <laughs> Do we have a picture of someone who is Katniss? There you are. Uh... Wait, 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 no! That's, that's Bruce Jenner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If I... No, no, I, I don't want to make light of this. I want to see a picture of a woman, a woman with a bad case of Katniss. There you are. Now, look. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Wow. Man, we, we're going to get letters now. Oh, man. No, we're not. <laughs> Nobody cares. <laughs> it's a very, uh, very sad anniversary today. You know, it's 50 years uh, today, to this day. Uh, since the Kennedy assassination. That's true. And, and to this day, nobody agrees on who did it. Some say it was the mob, some say it was the CIA, some say the Cubans. I think if we put it behind us and agree it was the aliens. <laughs> Personally, I don't believe in conspiracy theories at all. Or do I? No, I don't. Or do I? <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, man. <laughs> man. Wow. So if I just keep doing that, you guys will keep doing it? Whoa. Anyway, is that noise real or did you just imagine it? All right, all right. Stop it. I'm getting a headache. Or am I? All right, no, I no. What? I know, I forgot what I was talking about. Conspiracy theories. I have uh, mixed feelings about them. I, you know, on the plus side, they offer us comfort in the face of events so monstrous they defy understanding. On the other end, you sound a bit like Gary Boosie off his meds if you yeah. start saying it. <laughs> It was a few years back there was a movie called Conspiracy Theory, starred Mel Gibson. And Gibson's a, a raving lunatic convinced that a certain shadowy group is behind all the wars in history. I don't know what he does in the movie, but Gibson... <laughs> you see what I did yeah, there? Yeah. You see what I did? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I turned out... Whoa. <laughs> so, man. This, this whole show's going to hell in a handbasket, isn't it? Like, we don't even, like, I'll just make an expression and you guys just play whatever the hell you like. <laughs> One of the biggest conspiracy theories is the Area 51. It's in the Nevada desert. Some people think aliens live there, and some people think it has a secret machine that controls the weather. You know, like, in that, do you remember that Avengers movie with Sean Connery? Oh, yeah, yeah. He had that machine, he played, you know, Sir Weatherman or something. Yeah, right, yeah. And he had a machine that controlled the weather, and Uma Thurman was in it. He was yeah. like, oh, yes, today's weather is 100% chance of a boner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, it was Sean Connery, yeah. and he was Sir Weatherman or something, and like and Uma Thurman was there, and he was like, oh yeah, shit, sh uh, cloudy in my pants. <laughs> you don't remember that movie? Yeah, no, it was a great film. That was a, that, those were the golden years of Hollywood, oh, weren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah, that, that when he was the, the weather... What was that other movie? That, remember that movie, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Oh, remember what that? a fine motion Whoa, picture. Whoa, that, yeah. that, that was a real corker, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, what was that? Everyone was... Uh, they, what, were, what were they in it? They, they, they hung around and uh, drank beer and solved crimes, I think, was the, was the whole film. No, I think that's Reservoir Dogs. Oh, is that right? It? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, they committed crime. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That actually is a good movie. I think we wandered off the point somewhere yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a show we did back in October, just before Halloween. You remember yeah, that show? Yeah, yeah. What the hell of a show that was. We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Everybody. We're very excited. Tonight is the Friday before the week of Thanksgiving, and that's the night where we go crazy. That's right. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, in my country, the Friday before Thanksgiving, we use this feather. Oh, uh, so like a quill? What do you do with it? Well, what you do with this feather is you approach the, uh, the, the person you're attracted to most, and you tickle them with the feather on their genitals. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So, all right, come over here. <laughs> I, uh, hey. Sorry. I, was, I did the two, and then you did the two. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man who, according to his Wikipedia, is now a 37-year-old lesbian with Katniss. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, this is... Uh, oh, wait, let's do the jingle. You ready? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to do it uh, in German. All right. 
It's time for the tweet mails. It's time to do the emails and the tweets. It's the time. We are so excited to read your thoughts. Yeah. The emails are do 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 do. All right. This is from Carly in Chicago who says, uh, Craig, I've always read that men think about sex all the time, but seriously, how many times a day does the average guy think about it? Once. <laughs> but kind of all day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think men think about sex any more than women. I think that they just, you know, think that they think more about it more than women. I think women think about sex a lot. I hope they do. Anyway, uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's a plausible penis, a theory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are many ways you, you... No, I'm not. Anyway, look. Yeah. I like that dirty laugh you did. It's turning into Wilfred Brimley. Diabetes. This is from Andy in Cedar Rapids in Iowa. It says, Dear Craig and Jeff, do you think Secretariat ever gets bored during the show? Do you ever get bored? How do you keep yourself uh, from getting bored? I think that answers your question. <laughs> this is from Louise in Bozeman, Montana. It says, uh, Craig, have you ever thought about getting a bigger bell for your desk? Nah, this is fine, isn't it? One, we are German. Two, we are still German. That's correct. Three, we are Dracula. Yeah. Four, Italian Bill Clinton. That's right. What's the coming to go? Five, room service. Room service? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the, the audience, <laughs> when the audience starts, oh, wait a minute! Sorry, man. <laughs> when the audience, start, <laughs> when the audience start going, oh no, oh, when you're doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. maybe they're trying to tell you something. Yeah. And here's what I have to say: I don't care. I don't care what you people think. You're not the boss of me. This phone rang, and I'm gonna damn well answer it. Yeah. Hello? I'm sure it's a Jerry from Room Service. <laughs> hey, Jerry! Hey, How you man. doing? I'm good. Sorry, the rings are kind of sporadic. So. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Hey, listen, I, <laughs> I, I don't know if you were trying to call earlier. I got a call from a guy in uh, Buffalo uh, called Avis. Oh, Avis, sure, yeah. He's you know that guy? Mine, certainly, sir. Really? How do you know him? Uh, we, go to, uh, we go to feather conventions. Ah! <laughs> Listen, this is a terrible time for you to call, Jerry. Is I'm there terribly a... sorry, sir. Is there, is there anything I can do no, for you? No, you rang the bell, sir, so I'm uh, obligated to call you, sir. Oh, it's a union thing. That's correct, sir. What, what is your union? <laughs> it's the, the union of uh, uh, front desk uh, people. <laughs> hey, hey, have you got a, your TV on? Yeah, yeah. Right. If I get something to my shoe? Ah, it seems to be a little uh, tiny anomaly there, sir. It's a piece of tape, I think, sir. Oh, that must be when they try to get me to stay in one place, yeah. so they get... <laughs> oh, yeah, go on, do Look at that. Whoa. Hey, check out my socks. The last time I wore these socks was... Uh... <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Anyway, listen. Uh... Uh, I, I gotta go. All right. All right. Thanks. All right. I'll talk to you later. Good chat. Yeah. Right. Nice, good talk. Yeah. Good talk. Good talk. Good talk. All right. All right. Bye. 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 I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Good talk. Bye. 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 Good talk. Bye. 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 And finally, this is from Angela in Commerce in California. Dear Craig and Jeff, I know you always joke about it, but have you actually worn women's high heel shoes? I don't always joke about it. No, you've, you've worn a few sensible pairs, yeah. Yeah, I sometimes wear belly flats or pumps, you know, just for going for little runs, yeah. errands. Yeah. You know, and then heels at nighttime. Always heels at nighttime. Yes. <laughs> A black dress and pearls is standard attire. It is at the Feather Club, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody.
love to watch that horse walk away. Yeah. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a very funny man. That's going to be a nice uh, change of yeah, pace. Yeah, time, yeah. He's a good friend of the show. You can see him tomorrow night at the Helium Comedy Club. Wow. What? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> wow. Really? Yeah. Hey, so close to Thanksgiving? <laughs> see him tomorrow night at the Helium Comedy Club. Helium. helium. Sorry, you know that when you take... It makes your voice go high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to be at the Helium Comedy Club in Portland, Oregon. And at New Year's Eve, he's at the Mystic Lake Casino in Minnesota. We played there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Good that's times. a great get. Uh, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Tim Meadows, everybody. Tim Meadows. Hey, you look very preppy tonight, if you don't mind me saying so. Uh, I like that. Yeah, thank you very much. It's, I'm, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I like to, you know, I like to look like I went to college. Yeah, you do. You look like you're still going. <laughs> it's yeah. nice. Thank you. Um, the Helium Comedy Club, eh? What's so funny about I that, just, man? I, I don't know why it made me... It just occurred to me that... It, I don't know why it made me laugh. I don't know it's, the Helium. It's a weird name for a comedy club. Yeah, a little it's, bit. It's like naming it after a gas. Yeah. You know, it's like... Like, usually it's like... Funny bone. Yeah, or, chuckle hut. Yeah, you know, yeah. uh, you know, laugh a lot or something. I have no idea why they named it helium. Yeah. No have idea. you ever heard of there's one in I think in Wichita called Looney Bins. I think that's a very insensitive name for a comedy club. Yeah. So the audience thought that too, obviously. Yeah. Oh, no, know. it's kinda of, you know, it's kinda of mean to the you know, audience sitting in the comedy club. Yeah, that's right. You people are, you know, yeah, you're crazy for Bins. coming here. Yeah. Crazy people. Yeah. How are you? I'm all right, how are you doing? Um, I'm sensing some tension. What's going on? I've been really pissed lately. What's wrong? Oh, oh hang on. I'll give you some Wait. therapy. All right. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, you know, here we are. All right. What's wrong? I don't know. I, you know, I've just been flying a lot because I've been traveling. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, I don't like it when comedians come on and start talking about flying. You're not going to do that, are you? No, I won't talk about it. All right. It. You're not going to say that, like, you know, that thing, well, what about those airline peanuts? You're not going to do that, are you? No, no. I like the airline peanuts. Is that. No, I think that's fair. I think they're reasonable, they're free. You know? Yeah. No, here's what been. I, I had an issue. I flew in a, a few days ago, and I got into a, a, a fight with this lady. Uh, not fight physical, but like you, you know, language was um, yeah. went back and forth, and yeah. it wasn't always pretty language. But here's what happened. I was sitting in my chair, and I wanted to recline my my seat back. Right. She had one of those stupid like you did go pillows. <laughs> You guys know these he pillows? He can say that. I'm sorry. You're a racist, man. <laughs> you, do you believe that? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. But it, I was really, this is, I mean, it really bugs me, though. Yeah. It's one of those pillows, you guys know this, like, people, they buy a pillow, and mm. then they put it on the tray in, in front of their seat. Right. But what they don't, you know, they don't realize is that somebody is actually sitting in the chair in front of them. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know... Anytime you move the chair, your seat, the person is waking up. Huh, uh, huh. And it's like, I just, I hate that pillow. So you, you, you woke the woman up by moving your chair? Yes. You selfish jerk. <laughs> so, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. No, no, it's fine. No, I mean, she can't do that. that. That table there is for snacks and beverages. Right. It's not part of your seat. No. It's part of the other person's seat. That's right. I am outraged for you. It's, I mean, it's like, you know, if you, it's just presumptuous. To buy that pillow. Well, I think it proves that somebody did go to college. Right there, when he right. said that. Thank you. Presumptuous means what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't go to college. I was kind of hoping you'd, you know. Uh, uh, I guess it's, it's also like assume. It's, uh, oh, yeah, assume. yeah. But it's, I think it's pretty presumptuous for people to, like, bring a pillow and then put it on... You know, you putting so much weight on the person in front of you. You know, yeah. I just don't think it's fair. Think also, it's these things aren't, you know, they're not safety rated to hold the weight of a human head. You know, they're only to hold the weight of, you know, an airline snack. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, and, and I, you could cause an incident. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you ask the Helium Comedy Club to put you up to first class? That's, well, because they don't pay that much. <laughs> I'd like to leave the Helium Club with some money. I yeah. I think it's over. Yeah. Have you ever taken Helium and to make your voice sound funny? Uh, yeah, I've done that a lot. Will you be doing that tomorrow night at the Helium Club? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people have done that. Oh, before. yeah, yeah, you're right. I probably, uh... Have you done that? With the Helium Club? Yeah. I've taken things to make me funny, feel funny in my head. 
You ever done that? Uh, yeah. The, what? There's this thing that some people do is like they get this kind of like there's this plant you grow it and then you can get it and just like crush it up a little bit and mm. then you set fire to it and inhale the smoke. It makes you feel really strange. Wow. Yeah. That reminds me, I had something like that, but they we put it in like an apple. You put a hole in an apple. Yeah. And Stick it in two ways, and then you put this stuff on top of the apple, and then you suck through the hole. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. You guys know uh, what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, but here's the thing. It's an apple. It's an apple, so, you know, it's, it's got to be good for you if it's an apple. Yes. And uh, keeps the doctor away. Apple a day. Keeps the doctor away. Smoking one apple a day. Smoking an apple a day. <laughs> yeah. Do you, ever, uh, do you ever go fishing? Well, you know, I, I have gone fishing. It was mm. one of the things I did with my father when I was a kid. Go fishing? Yeah, go fishing, yeah. Mm. What kind of fishing? Uh, we used to catch <laughs> catfish. <laughs> what, what's so funny about that? Just because it's like the worst kind of fish to eat. Yeah. They no, they're bottom taste, feeders. Up. No, they, they taste good. They just look weird. Well, yeah, they taste good. I mean, when you don't have anything to eat, they're really good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I had a choice between eating catfish and salmon, yeah. I'd go with salmon, definitely. I don't know, man. You eat the right catfish. Oh, yeah. You get to interview, you get to interview the catfish before you eat it or something? Yeah, yeah. So what have you been eating? Uh, yeah. how, how do you live? <laughs> uh, are you a bottom feeder or are you a plant eater? Do you know that a bottom feeder is actually... Well, never mind. <laughs> Do they work here at the network, any of those? Are the bottom feeders? Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at one, son. <laughs> hey, look, I wanted to show you. Oh, oh, I love your tights. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I saw you had on some, too. I thought it was Yeah, I only cool. wear, I wear these one day in October, one day in November. These, really? Uh, yeah. The same one. Uh, yeah. 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 It's nice. You, I like this look you're doing, though. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, I do like it. It's kind of, it's a, it's a new kind of thing for you. And the glasses and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Got a new girlfriend or something? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, maybe. You like my glasses? Yeah, I like your glasses. Yeah, oh, the whole thing. Thanks, it's, it's kind of cool. Well, it's, you know, I, I went, to, it's really easy what happened. I went to J. Crew. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say that on the TV show? Uh, well, it's very difficult with him. He's like, he's no. like, he can't well, say the name of an American apparel. Oh, no, I can't say American apparel either, bro. Well, I went to a store with crew in its name. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, you can, you can say that? Can I say that? <laughs> I went to Abercrombie and Fru. Ab Abercrombie and Fru. Don't go Abercrombie and Fru. Horrible. <laughs> Man, that's bad. I can't fit into any of their clothes. Yeah, no, no, I, I'm, I'm about 50 years too late to be wearing any of their clothes. Really? Yeah, the, you know, I'm 51. I'm 52. I, no way. Yeah. It's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> it is really scary. It's kind of weird. Yeah. You know what I realize now is that if I were to die suddenly, nobody would be surprised. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, well, you know. Yeah, he was he 52. Had a, he, he had a good run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah uh, it's horrifying business. <laughs> and I often think about that too. Like I do too. I, yeah. I think about you dying all the time. <laughs> uh, but no. pillows on airplanes really piss me off, why, man. Why, why? Here's the other thing. What? People bring pillows from their house. Yeah. Which is disgusting. <laughs> we don't. You don't need. I don't want to be in the same room with somebody's pillow. I don't know what they did with that pillow before they came there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I don't want to know. Oh, you do. Well, like, I've seen horrible videos with people doing weird things. Really? Them. Where? Where? I want to see them. It's all over the internet. Never heard of it. Yeah. Oh. We have to take a break. Okay. Yeah, the, apparently there's some uh, J. Crew commercials. <laughs> and also American Apparel. And also airline pillows. <laughs> <laughs> also. What's that coming to go? Tim Meadows, who's just told me a very controversial thing about his, uh, his views. It is controversial. Yeah, yeah, it was really, oh, you wouldn't like him if you knew this about him. Here's what I think, people. Uh, yeah, he, the pillows in the airlines, it really makes him mad. That was, yeah. <laughs> and the other pillow that I hate is the donut pillow that people pull in the airplane. You guys use those things, too? The donut pillow? Yeah, it's like a pillow that goes around your no, neck. No, come on, not, you can't be harshing on that pillow. There's it's nothing not, wrong it's there. It's not even a real, it's not a real thing, everybody. <laughs> 
That's like something they just made to sell people. It doesn't, if it worked, people will be in the audience with neck pillows around their necks right now. Oh, I've neck. seen it. Don't think I haven't seen it. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, if I didn't get into the prices right, <laughs> I might as well just <laughs> go have a nap. Craig. <laughs> Cheeky monkey. <laughs> Nah, it's all right. That's my pet peeve. I just, yeah. I'm sick of pillows. You know what I hate on airplanes is people bring on food. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like a 45 minute flight, LA to Phoenix. And yeah. Like, oh, gotta have something to eat. You know, yeah. it's 45 minutes. Just wait until you yeah, get Yeah, wait until you get there. It's not like airports don't have places to eat. It's just all places to eat. That's places all to eat. they are now. Places to eat and catch diseases. That's where airports are. Yeah. And now, here's another thing. Do you know what we are? What? Old guys complaining about things. <laughs> We've turned into old guys. Yeah. Oh, like, you know what I own? I, yeah, me got it right. I hate when kids get on my grass. Yeah. I hate that. And also when they're on my lawn. Yes. <laughs> Both. I got you. Here's another thing I hate about when I'm flying is when I'm sitting in the aisle seat mm. and people are in the like middle or the window seat. Mm. I mean, I'm in the window seat. They're in the middle or aisle seat. Right. And you get up to ask to go to the bathroom, mm. and people act like they're I can't surprised. Yeah. <laughs> really, they're like, Can he oh, say, oh my. can see that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't say surprise? No, apparently not. You can't say surprise. <laughs> oh, well, who knew? Well, I'm sorry. Don't worry. But people are, they act like this has never happened before on an oh, airplane. I know. I know. Like, oh my God, they get scared. Like, oh, what's, what's going on? Something's happening. <laughs> oh, he's going to the bathroom. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, yeah, I'm going to the bathroom. This is going to happen, you know? <laughs> Why don't you just uh, take your revenge by just going to the bathroom in your seat? <laughs> that would make the flight much more interesting, definitely. Yeah. Do you know what I, I get mad at as well? Kids. <laughs> your own or others? Yes, uh, anyone. Yeah. Uh, anyone who's young. Do you think if I smoked a pipe like this, I would burn myself? Yeah. I think you would go right in your eye. I think you Yeah, you'd burn your eyes out. Yeah. Do you, you don't smoke, do you? I, well, I don't want to talk about what I smoke. <laughs> it's legal, people. And it's oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say crack. <laughs> no, I've never, never. Smoked. No, I never smoked crack either. I stopped before crack came out. You stopped before? Yeah, I stopped taking drugs before crack came out. Like they got drug problems now that I don't even know what the <laughs> drugs are. Like, like crystal meth happened? happened. I'm like, what's that? Something to do with Superman? I don't know. <laughs> I know, that makes me feel too old too. It's like the drugs are, you know, like when people talk about EMD or something like that. I never even heard of that one. Yeah. Or whatever. I'm just like, I missed out on that. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't think missed out is where you want to go. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's some fun to be had. Let's go get high. <laughs> okay. Tim Meadows, I'm out of here. We're going to go again. Yes, there's a best-selling author. She's a lovely woman. Her latest book, Bridget Jones, Mad About the Boy, is in stores now. The beautiful Helen Fielding, everybody. Helen Fielding. Craig. It's lovely to see you. It's lovely to see you. I haven't seen you in a very long time. Well, that's true. That's and I've forgotten that your voice is sometimes quite quiet. It's quiet. I've tried to project like you actors, but I cannot. I'm so not an actor quiet. anymore. Oh, oh, I apologize. No, I'm really doing this. <laughs> <laughs> you got into some trouble about this because you killed off yes. Mr. Darcy and the girls are like, what? I know, I know. I, th I thought people might mind a bit. Yeah. But then I was, I was watching the news in my pyjamas, like Bridget. Yes. And then it was the Syrian crisis. Right. And then it was, Mark Darcy is dead. Yeah. And it was uh, like Did you on get that hate scale. Mail? I, got, I went to a restaurant around the corner in Primrose Hill and a man came running out saying, you've murdered Colin Firth. 
I think people sometimes get a little too invested in these things, don't you? Well, I had to tell Colin. That was quite the hard thing. Did you tell? Oh, so they're going to make a movie of this and Colin's not going to be in it, obviously. <laughs> oh, I can see why he would be quite annoyed about that, yeah. Well, he is in it. He's, I, but I, had, I obviously had to tell him before he heard from anyone else. Right. And I tra we tried to meet and we couldn't. And so I made sure... It was like telling someone someone has died. Like, well, it's, sure yeah, you you're not going to be making any money off the next Bridget Jones movie. <laughs> to an actor, that is somebody has died. It was hard. I had to make sure he was sitting down and he had someone with him. Um, and it, re it really did feel like telling someone about a real death, but then he, he was laughing as well, because he's very funny. He's very funny. He's been here. He's very he's handsome. So handsome. He's very sexy. He's so he's handsome. very sexy about Very sexy. Him. I mean, I, I'm straight, but sexy. I'd do him. I mean, I would. Ooh, I would. But I don't know. I mean, I'd, like, I'd make out with him and see where it goes. Yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, that's... Yeah. You know, I mean, he's very... Oh, he's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. He's gorgeous. Mm. But he's, his memory suffuses the book. Oh. Like Jesus. Like Jesus? As I said to <laughs> You, you want to get hate mail, you go down that street. <laughs> no, it's all right. So are you living back in London now, then? Mm -hmm. oh, Most of the time. Nice. Yeah, Do you know who was be. here about a month ago? No. Richard Curtis. Oh, I love it. <laughs> yeah, and Richard, I, I remember you and Richard, and we were all part of a, a, a group of people who you were are. hanging out in London years ago. Years ago. I, yeah. I was the drunk one from Scotland. And you... you you were the enormous Scotsman. I was the enormous Scotsman, yeah, because I yeah. used to uh, be with your friend, Helen. You were her boyfriend. I was her boyfriend. And we were both kind of the same. We were sort of little Yeah, blonde. little blonde girls, yeah. yeah. I was hoping one night you'd get mixed up and, you know, so, uh, <laughs> never really happened. <laughs> well, you don't oh, know Oh, we that. both look the Craig. same. Let's just both get into bed. Uh, it may have happened. It might have happened. You know. See, that's the worst thing about active alcoholism. It could have happened it and I wouldn't happen. remember it. That would be so awful. It didn't happen, did it? <laughs> no, that's... Uh, well, anyway, I mean, so you're back there. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. You've got children now, haven't you? I've got you? children, yeah. That's how, how many? Two. Two? Mm, that's yeah. about the right amount, I'd I say. think it's about the right I've got amount. two as well. There's two, yeah. Two boys. Yeah, oh, I've got a girl and a boy. That's probably a good idea, mix it up a little. It is yeah. good, one of these, yeah. Yeah, boys are... Oh. Oof. It's the, co it's the computers. Computers, isn't yes. It? Minecraft. Isn't it? Minecraft? What All the is time, that? Minecraft. What is that? Well, it's a game. No, I, mean, they... I know what it is. But oh, right, why, okay. Why do they want to do it all day? I don't know. I think it has. I think it's quite a benign game. I actually, the guy who invented it is uh, coming on the show, or has been on the show. <laughs> yeah, he was on the show a week or so ago. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but his name is Marcus Pearson, and he's a uh, he's very interesting character. He's. Um, he, he made this game, which is kind of a retro game. There's no guns in it, there's or no, no killing. There's no, no killing. Blasting heads off. Or no, no. It's a very. Like it's kind of. It's kind of smart. It's smart. The, but the, the thing I can't get over is the idea that anything that is thin and black is technology and therefore evil. Right. So I've had a thing with with my son where I've been saying, "Come off that iPod. You've had your time." Right. And he's going, Mummy, it's a Kindle, it's a book. Yeah, and then I'm really right, confused yeah. because... Yeah, because I think looking at a Kindle is... Like, you know what we're like? We're a little bit like old people complaining about things. Exactly! That's exactly. kind of the theme that's running through the show. That is. That is what it is. But, it, but yeah, it's like I say it to my son, I say, you can't play in the computer. He said, I'm reading a book. And that's, that's weird. It's I'd... confusing. But I think it's like Darwin's theory of dinosaurs or something. Like, they've evolved. I might have got that a tiny bit wrong. But, like, they... <laughs> it's like they've got an extra fin or lost a fin, the children. Right. So they can... Like, my son said technology is the fifth element now. Because right. it says so in We Skylanders. And they know how to do it. And we don't know what, what we're doing with it at all. I think there, that, there may be an element of truth to that, but there's also that thing that children do is where they think their parents know nothing and they don't know anything about life and they say that to you as well. Yeah. You know, because I used to do that with my parents. Like, you don't know anything about music, you know, while I was listening to the Sex Pistols and stuff. You know, they... Well, mine constantly make me feel foolish. Like, when I was getting ready for the book tour, I had all these ideas of what I was going to look like, and I had this red dress I was going to wear. Oh, yeah. And I was sort of dancing in front of the mirror, going, Lady in red. And then Dash came up and said, Mummy, you look like a virgin air hostess. <laughs> and... <laughs> they're sexy, the virgin air hostesses, I think though. So. Yeah, though wrong, they're good. But it just wasn't the look that I wanted. Oh, I'd, 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 let me try and steer you back into that look. <laughs>
That's a that's a very good look. The little tight outfit. Can I it get you a pillow? Oh yeah. Nice. Do you want Ooh, a wait, would, you, would you like a pillow? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's, I, I haven't read this one yet. I shall read it, of course, because I've read all the rest of them. I'm a bit concerned, though, about uh, Mr. Darcy being dead. Well, it'll be all right, right? It'll be fine. Yeah, oh, he's, right. he's all the way through it. Daniel Cleaver's still there. Oh, know, well, that's the, good, yes. The big pants that owe money. Yeah. He's the naughty... Um, naughty one. Naughty godfather now. Ooh. And she has a toy boy. Oh, really? She has a younger man, yeah. How much younger? He's quite a lot younger. How much like, younger? Like over 20 years younger. That's fine. I think he's absolutely oh, fine. Yeah. It's absolutely yes. fine. Yes. Yeah. I like it. Now, do yes. you bring in anything of yourself to this? Or are you no, just, it's okay, not okay, okay, Helen, okay. It's not a memoir. Like, I'm just saying, just, you yeah. know. Hmm. Not a memoir. Hmm. Um, hmm. But <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, look, we're out of time. So, uh, there you are. I'll just start reading it now. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> do you ever read using the Kindle, or do you always just read bookie books? I use bookie books. I can't make the Kindle work. You know, it's that thing where you have to press it. Yeah, I know. And then you this sort this of is goes much easier. Back to going like the that. pages of. <laughs> I like going like that. Uh, yeah. I know where I am there. It's you like, know where you are, I know you? what's coming. <laughs> Another page. <laughs> I always think, though, that if I'm on a, 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 a we mustn't say Kindle, we must say, a, you know, a, device. a reading device, computer thing. But then it sounds thing. kind of rude. If I do like, yeah, I do like I'm that it sounds device. rude. Mm. Are you on your device? <laughs> yes. I'll be right out. I'm just on my device. <laughs> ah, good times. It's lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Am I supposed to go now? No, no, no stay, stay, stay. I'm just uh, thinking about you in that little air hostess outfit. <laughs> uh, do you fancy an awkward pause or a mouth I'd, organ or I'd something? I'd like a chocolate, actually. Oh, you can have a chocolate. Yeah, okay. Mm, chocolate have yourself. Coins. Finger my chocolate dollars, yeah, thank why don't you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. They're actually I quarters. I like these, are they? Yeah. Don't you love these at Christmas? When I do, yeah. Tangerines and mm, chocolate together at in Christmas. A they used to put that. My dad's sock. Oh, that's yeah. disgusting. No, it was like, even to this day, when I taste feet, I think of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I taste feet. Uh, so we're out of time, anyway. <laughs> it's so nice to see you. Helen Fielding, everybody. We're right back. We're not going to do this tonight. I was going to throw the log in the fire, but we're out of time. Yeah, we're out of time. We're out of so, time, because yeah. I, I, I heard the stage management saying, they're going to do a log, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> or am I? Yes, all right. Good night, everybody. Say good night. Yeah, good night.